as I said, um, I'm going to talk on uh, GeoJSON. Uh, I don't know huge amounts of it, so I've learned it all over the weekend, and hopefully I can tell you guys something you don't know, hopefully. Um, it's also going to sort of cover a little bit about Leaflet, which is what I was using to test some of the GeoJSON I'm playing around with, and I'll cover a few different tools I've found that were helping me write GeoJSON and test it out, which was all worth it. So, what is it? Um, it's a graphical information system in that it outputs stuff on the screen, um, showing it in a nice uh, graphic type way. Um, it's open format, um, mainly for geographical features, so you can be able to map uh, points on the map, uh, regions, streets, that sort of thing. Um, it's, um, it's fairly simple, really simple, and I think when I said I was going to do a talk on GeoJSON, I didn't realise how simple it actually was, which worried me a little bit more when I came to write the talk over the weekend. Trying to find enough stuff to talk about. Um, and it's all written for JSON as well, so um, sort of standard format. Um, it differs from a lot of other um, standards out there, and it was written by a group of the net, and it just seemed they all got together, just had a chat about it over a year, about literally over a year, um, and uh, came up with the standards. It's been around for a few years, um, slowly but surely, there's lots of people out there using it, providing resources and shapes, uh, which we'll come on to later on, um, that you can actually use and reuse um, whatever. So, what can it do? Um, the main thing is producing maps and producing funny shapes. We're going to come back to this particular map later on, because I'll show you how to make stuff like that in a minute. So, there are four main, main shapes that you actually do, going to create. The first is points, uh, which can be used for addresses or locations, mainly um, based on uh, geolocational data, as in uh, longitude, latitude um, type points. The next uh, are streets and boundaries, um, or anything else that you need. Lots of points joined up uh, in the line. It's fairly simple stuff again. Polygons, um, or any sort of shape that you want to have on there, you can also fill it in uh, with different colours. Um, you can overlay them as well, you can get lots of um, different bits, um, which you can see where they've overlaid lots of um, graphical type data. I'll show you about that in a bit. And then you can do mixes of everything. So you can have the polygons that have all different shapes, you can lay bits on there, you can make holes in them. Uh, you can put points, um, so you can, you can group uh, geographical data together. So you can have, a, I don't know, a county um, and the county town, or you can do the states, or you can have lots of different towns within, a, within an area, so you can, you can put them together. So, what do they look like? The first one is a geojson point, and it's fairly, fairly simple in that you get a, um, well, you've got a type and a point, but the format is pretty much the same unless you're a multi part. Um, JSON, there, but they, they all come down to these basics. You get the point type and you get your coordinates, they're going to be out. Um, in this particular case, they're X and Y, uh, which is particularly useful to know when you've been playing around with it, you can't work out why things keep disappearing and appearing in different places in the leaflet later on. Um, you get line strings, which is the, um, the, the streets or bits together. And again, you just, you just group your points together, so one after another, um, and the coordinates will come. The screen and it will draw between those points. Oops. Polygons look pretty much the same again. So you've got a polygon as a type, and then you've got your, um, your different points you might want to hoop around there. It's a very small square in that particular case, um, just near, um, I think, quite a little bit. Um, this is the collection, so this is slightly different um, in that it's got um, an overriding type, it's a geometry collection um, here. Um, and then you've got geometries, um, i.e. multiples of the same items I've just shown you in a basic form. Um, so you've got a point here, which is the same point we had a moment ago, which is, um, I can't remember exactly what it is, but I'll show you in a minute. Um, and then you've got a line string that's nearby. Um, all of the, the examples I've got on this, you can just literally copy and paste into um, some tool to show in a minute, and it will literally just work, and you can play around and move around the workplace. Any questions about that so far? Yeah? But, um, the X and Y coordinates, are they that long? Or? Uh, they are, yeah. 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 But for some reason, it's the other way around, we actually get to leaflet. Yeah. So, testing out. You can actually just go to um, choose and here's one header. So, essentially, um, on this website, geojsonlint.com, uh, um, you can paste in whatever you want, whatever your geojson is going to be, and it outputs it really handily on the side here. Better than that, it will also, or it also gives you um, a little bit of just with jQuery um, that you can actually put onto your website so you can actually test it without having to come onto the website and put it in there so you can programmatically do it as well. 
um, just give you a validation type routine. What other examples have they got underneath it? I saw a Python. Uh, they're a PHP type one um, and a Python script. Uh, Python and Kitty. Okay. I'm going to move it to the top one very quickly. Sure. So, so the map question is providing the data, is it? Um, it was not to, but um, Casey, yeah. and we work with uh, things like Google Maps and yeah, it does. But yeah, yeah, it does. You can use it um, on Google. Although GeoJSON doesn't natively work with Google, you have to use some tools that are there. So basically, it doesn't really support it. Somebody's written something to make it support it in the background. Um, but then you can just iterate around it in a normal way. You don't put points on the map anymore. Yeah. So, using it. You can use um, a whole bunch of different um, mapping type tools like open layers, leaf flips, one I'm going to talk about. Um, and a bunch of the other ones there, Carter GV or DV was quite nice, but it really depends what you, you like and what you can find that's nice and easy to use. But Leaflet really is nice. Uh, Bing Maps, uh, Yahoo, uh, Google, as I just a moment ago, also support it uh, in, in their API. Uh, Google Maps, as I say, uh, doesn't really support it as such natively. Um, and GitHub also supports GPS. Um, well, I didn't really go into that too much, it's all the nice information I've got on the web. So, an example. So, what I did um, was I, using Leaflet, which is one of the tools that I said a moment ago, produces a map a little bit like this. Um, and I'll go through how the codes are built up. Um, it's fairly uh, simple. I'll talk through it. It's just basically. Um, uh, a map area um, and then script. It basically initializes it because we're going to talk about that. So the first thing you need to do is um, you create or you, you link to your style sheet, which is provided by Leaflet. You don't have to use Leaflet as well, but they put it there. Um, and then one of the scripts from the CDN. Um, again, you can download that, you can fork it off GitHub and grab it yourself if you want to use the source. In that way. Then you have to set up the map. Now there's got to be a corresponding map div somewhere in the page. And you can have multiples running at the same time, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Um, and then you reference that location uh, within your JavaScript. You then have, um, so I used um, Open uh, OpenStreetMap because it's free and it's the only one I could get working. But I actually since discovered it wasn't, I was doing something wrong with the other ones. I, well, I was doing something wrong and I was trying to zoom too much and it wasn't allowed to zoom in that way. But, um, so it's, it's fairly simple with different tile sets you can actually get. But this one does definitely work as you just saw a moment ago. So you can literally copy and paste it. Um, and it will work um, straight away. Um, you've got uh, URLs for the open tree map, bits and pieces. Yeah, you've got your, your copyright information, and it appears in the bottom right of that, over here. Um, and then you just initialize the tile layer, i.e., all the little tiles that can appear as you can scroll around the map. Um, the next bit is you're setting the actual view. Um, this one here is particularly uh, run and alone, as you can see uh, there. Um, and I've gone for a zoom level of 13. It's important to note, if you try and set the zoom level, which is higher than the zoom level you set in the last slide, um, and it won't actually display anything if it breaks. It's very frustrating for a while, trying to work out what's going wrong. Um, and then you, uh, you add your layer. So the next bit is uh, the GeoJSON uh, side of it. You can create these in all sorts of ways, just inside a variable, um, as you can see there. Um, it's exactly what that, so that wasn't exactly the same multi part one. Um, there's some properties of whatever the feature is, and there's the geometry, i.e. a point in this particular case, that I've created uh, within it. Um, and that's this point here. And then you add the uh, GeoJSON to that. A simple add feature, or you can do it like this, you can create the layer and then you can do multiple features that can add it to um, uh, the actual map as well. So, as a side from that one, um, this isn't really exactly GeoJSON, this is more leaflet type side of it. So, you can see how the markers are actually added in this particular case. That's just taking the uh, map points and adding them to it uh, rather than using the GeoJSON. 
Um, a circle, which isn't actually a GSOJ or GeoJS format, but it's quite handy. You can also actually put circles or whatever it is on some map. Again, um, and then you've got your multiple points polygon. So it's lots of different ways. In fact, um, the leaflet um, page is actually pretty good for learning about it. So that's what it looks like in case I didn't have an internet connection. For some reason, my browser shut down. Um, you can do shapes. I said about that earlier. Um, this is obviously shapes over um, the United States, showing all the states. Or the United States. Um, there's lots and lots of different shapes. And there are lots of places you can go download those shape libraries from and actually prepare it. Um, I haven't found one yet that does counties in the UK. You can get all the voting zones and you can get all those different pieces, but you can't find one yet for counties. And Any questions? <laughs> no? no? How easy does something like you could make it to add interactivity to your points created or your shapes created from GeoJSON? Are they just. So in Leaflet, it's quite easy. You can actually. Um, lift it in there. Um, there's a way you can actually just link straight to You can easily with Leaflet just create a marker. See if you've um, got a reference to the point, you can create pop ups that just come up on the screen on four clicks. It's actually built into the, um, the Leaflet um, API as it is. Okay. And that's just a reference to an idea what that you find in your GeoJSON. Yeah. Yeah. Either that, or you could say, um, like I did on this one, I'd create the point with this GeoJSON here. Um, you could create a bar, um, so I'll make a bar. Yeah. And then, and then you can then. Um, just reference that as the end of the click marker. No. No. Can you uh, create some um, points from postcodes? You can. Um, what I found was, though, instead of doing it that way, I found MapQuest. I've got myself an API key, and it's um, really good in that you literally paste that in there, and instead of the location data they've got here, you post in a postcode and it'll give you back either the geolocation data or um, GeoJSON type data. I mm -hmm. GeoJSON is very good on it, but so it's really, really good. It produces little, because um, I'm not connected to the internet, I'll show you, but um, it produces little maps as well and things like that. So it's really, really good if you want to get really good data that's free. And they don't seem to charge you if you're using it for yourselves. So it's actually quite good. in the web, reverse, give it a uh, lot longer and get your postcode. Yeah. 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 Free. Um, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 is there a, is there a limit on how, there is how, a how often you can hit that? You, you didn't say that in the, um, there is in the documentation. Yeah. That's yeah. 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 It's only when you get to a certain level, I think. Yeah. But if you can f have a, a way of caching, so how I would, I would normally do this is I'd actually do this via server side on your own server, and then you'd post your request to your server. Every time you get a 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 every time you you get a every time 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 they're all free to actually go and use. It's fun to see. Um, yeah. wonder where they came from. Yeah, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know they're around there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't suppose you've hit any memory issues with drawing too many shapes too quickly. I haven't, because as I say, you can only try that with a weekend. So, you didn't see any warnings of anyone going, don't go over 500 points for them. No, I didn't see that. Um, we did try it, because I originally came across Joe Jason at one of the um, Real Wide State Acts. And so we've been covering maps with those different um, points um, and those different areas mm -hmm. almost for photo zones and trying to work out where um, I don't know, crime rates were highest or population rates or whatever or where there was variations i.e. Uh, between Ipswich and Norfolk you can have a variation of Norfolk has more single mums and Ipswich has more drug addicts so it's, it's, it's all, that's all data so it was sort of like that's all interest but we did have any problems with getting to the data limits there um, I don't think we really pushed it too far because we were obviously in that hack mode yeah. and trying to get something out the door as quickly as we could. I guess it would depend on the rendering engine. Presumably, if you're using Google Maps, it's their rendering, they're using SVG or like Canvas or something, and if you're using Leaflet or something, they have their own. Presumably, that doesn't contain any rendering, does it? It's no. just the data. Just the data. So, 
the limit will be dependent on the engine turning on. Can you sort of, I'm sure there is a wide road. How would you go about like doing sort of uh, finding distances between things and when That's and about that. Um, MapQuest has some of that built in, as far as I can understand. Uh, it's what's been used for on the other bit of force in uh, traffic type data. But I don't know, I don't know if you try it. On one of your first samples, you removed a section from the within another section. Alright. You said you can make holes. Yeah. <coughs> yes, yes, yeah, yeah. This one? Yeah. I think it's just a geodesic map. I don't know exactly. I should actually produce a nice little one. example. I don't think the actual next example showed it. I'm not so sure it didn't. Is it an open standard? Is it an open source? Yeah. 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 If you to overlap shapes, would that cause any conflicts? I don't think so. No, not at all. Well, I, I can put the points on top of stuff and um, do different layers and those sort of things. It doesn't have any issues at all with it. Do all the sides always have straight lines when you start to define like curves? Um, I don't know because I didn't try. I guess they are all straight lines, but yes, yeah. there's some small type ones. Um, yeah. Obviously, I've got the circle type, which uh, if I used to um, as well. Yeah. 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 Any other questions? That's it then. My very quick talk on Geo Dress.